how to integrate Chinon with Etsy. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate uh, the Chinon, which is a print on demand, a platform within your Etsy store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to set up your uh, Etsy store right here, create an account within Etsy and set up your shop. For example, when you click right here in my shop, you're going to see here uh, the shop. It is uh, named stylish as ever, for example, and you're going to see the products that are uh, listed in my shop right there. Then you are on the meanwhile going to create an account within a shine on. And here we have the account, as you can see, and everything is set. So when you finish everything right there from creating an account within Etsy and the store, and also the shine on, you are going to visit shine on again. And click on catalog now we are going to connect the store previously we had the option to connect directly etsy and unfortunately they had some uh, issues and some big problems that they have to face so they have deleted that integration and in the meanwhile they have give you they gave you an um, let's say a, a temporary solution which is connecting your Shopify store to your Shine On, then you are going to use the help of a said commerce. As you can read right there, Shine On Etsy, learn more about integrating via said commerce. So visit said commerce right there. And from that, you are going to click on sell on marketplaces. Here we have the US marketplaces, select Etsy. As you can see here, it is a set right there. Click on Etsy and we are going to click on get started. Now, before I proceed to this one, I'm going to connect my Shine On to my Shopify account. Click on connect, and then we are going to set something. Here we have the Shine On. We have already uh, created a Shopify store, so you have to create your own Shopify store if you don't. And if you have, you will be installing this plugin or this extension. You're going to open it, and then you are going simply to set everything within the app of a Shopify store. Now I will wait for some minutes right there and it will the sign in automatically. As you can see here, we have the, when you click on the catalog, it will be showing up that everything is set. And also the connection between our Shopify store and Shine On is set. Now, the most important part right there is to set this one. You go to set commerce, you have selected Etsy, Put the name right here, the last name, the email address, the phone number. Here you are going to select a framework. Now the framework is the provider or the store that you are going to get the products from. Obviously we have set Shopify. So we are going to select Shopify and automatically you are going to transfer those products to Etsy. Here we have the business size. You're going to set it and for the product category, set it whatever you want here. You're going to click on agree and click on submit. It is processing uh, now, right now the demand and we are going to check for the uh, email for the response. Right there, we are going to wait for the emails. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to let you see right there how you can do this. Whenever you get the email of the uh, fulfillment or the selling option, you are simply going to shine on. Then you are going to create your product. For example, let's go ahead and create this uh, acrylic. So select that product and select the engraved, for example, acrylic. Now I'm going to add a product, any product with this one. For example, I'm going to choose one of these. I like this one. So I will click on it. And then we are going to set something. Right there we have the uh, SVG image, you can go ahead and set the artwork that you have. For example, I'm going to set right there the images. I'm going to select all files. So I'm going to set something right there. The artwork field is required. So we need to get an SVG image. This is uh, vital. Now for the product details, you are going to set the title, the description. And as you can see, everything is set. It is waiting for the template or the images to be set right there. And here we have the product specification and everything. We have the variation. You can set some variation. You can also put the price and you can see or calculate your profit from there. 
if we have the product images you can go ahead and choose one of these images and also you can download it you can add some personal or, or customized photos right there by clicking on this here we have the product upsells you can add it but it is a upgradable option to unlock here we have also the cart upsells post purchase upsells and etc now we have also the option to enable artwork swapper and here we have it artwork required to publish so we are going to set the artwork there and then we are going to proceed now i'm going to create a photo or an image with this size here we have this is this is required as you can read so we are going to visit canva canva is the best tool for design that will allow you to create some free designs and also it, it has a lot of uh, images and also elements that you can add from their library for free now all you have to do is to click on create a design after you have set your account also then we are going to wait for a few seconds until it will set right here the custom size click on custom size and here we are going to set uh, 3540 like that 3540 by let's say 31 86 31 86 like that we are going to create that design and now we are going to wait for a few seconds until the design will be shown up right there and as you can see it is like a square but it's not a completely square so we are going to upload a image or you can add some image some background and you are good to go now but in my case i'm going to I have something in mind so i will go ahead and set an image i have already downloaded and created an image within canva so i will wait for it to be downloaded right away i'm going to wait for a few seconds we have our image already set so we are going to resize it and also we are going to make some zooms in and out and here we have it so we are going to set the images you can add whatever you want for it you can add this image or add any uh, transparent background now i'm going to delete it as it is and click on download then you are going to click on share first download and set it as a png if you have a canva uh, pro uh, account you are going to set it uh, directly as a svg but unfortunately in my case i'm going to set it only for a png now click on download and wait for a few seconds until the download will be started right there we are going to visit a website called converto convert io this is the website.co and here we have the option to convert some png to svgs or multiple format right here you have the audio the video and etc so we are going to select a png to svg now we are going to choose a file after you have selected you are going to set it and make sure that it is a svg you can go ahead and see here the format make it svg like that then we are going to click on convert the first step is the upload and the second step will be the processing and also the third step will be download you are going to set this uh, or everything from these steps for free with a convert io now we are going to wait for the image to be uploaded and also downloaded then we are going to proceed right there we have our image downloaded as a svg file so we are going back right there to shine on select a file and here we have it we're going to wait for a few seconds until it will be uploading the file and here we have it it has been uh, removed for the background and the colors has been unified to black so it will be uh, right there now when you finish everything as you can see it is uh, the product image is set this is just an example it is a little bit ugly so don't mind it please now make sure that the uh, uh, the design that you have uploaded is uh, very good so when you finish this you are going to set uh, everything right here you are going to wait yes i am going to enable this paper swapper Right there i think everything is set so here we have the title is missing so we are going to add it for example cool art like that art work or something like work like that and here we have it so finish this by clicking on publish and it will be published into your shopify store 
So whenever you finish that process, you're going to proceed with the CAD commerce after they have sent you the email, of course. Now we are going to see right there. Press in the background, please wait for a few minutes to refresh, view in store. So we are going to view in store and here we have the product in our store. Uh, basically here, uh, the product is still processing the background and the images. So we are going to wait for a few seconds and refresh the page whenever you have set. Everything is set right there as you can see. And when you finish that, you're going to set this uh, product and launch it from your Shopify store to your Etsy within this app or this platform. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.